Hey guys, Fierce Gaming here, coming to you with a how-to video. So today, guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to get the AT launcher because I do, I do play on the AT launcher sometimes, but uh, it's, it's like my second to go to from Technic Launcher. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to go into your browser. I just have inter this Internet Explorer. Uh, uh, simply search AT launcher like so. Uh, when you search that, you're going to get AT launcher official site. Simply uh, click that. Uh, that will bring you to their official site for the AT launcher. With uh, It's partnered with Nodecraft or whatever. Uh, it should look like this, if you're wondering. If it doesn't, you hit the wrong link. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to have all these tabs up here. Click Downloads. Uh, now, this is a very important part if you have a Mac, I think. Uh, it says here, read all of this if you have a Mac, because it looks like it's more pointed toward Macs, because... Uh, if you, it's a, just a how to download. Um, just tells you more info if you have a Mac because I know Macs are a bit more finicky and uh, they have a bit more uh, security. So this just tells you how to do all that stuff. Then you're gonna roll down here. There's a video of the the launcher. Um, then come down here to downloads, and you'll have three buttons: Windows, Mac, Linux. Click the one that is your operating system. So if you have Windows. I have Windows, so I'm going to click Windows here. So if you have a Windows, you can follow me. If you have Mac, just maybe follow whatever they tell you. Just read the how-to up there. Uh, it's going to come down here. Just click Save. Uh, it's going to download that. It's going to run a security scan if you have one of those security things. And then you're going to click Run. Or if you don't, just click Save, and then you can run it some other time. Um, now this says, uh, this is different. Uh, because I already had it looks like um, and I'm just gonna say I'll change that now wait let me uh, true let me click save and let me click run what uh, if you get this warning that says I've detected it, you may have not you may have not installed this in the right location the exit should be play oh okay that's another thing guys once you're in that go to your desktop and create new folder and make it called AT Launcher. That's the one thing I just kind of forgot there. Um, sorry, guys. So now you're going to have an AT Launcher because it has to be in its own folder to make all the files. Uh, so now that you have that, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to just go to your internet again and you want, actually, no, it's already in downloads. Just go to your downloads uh, simply like this and drag your AT Launcher. It should look like that and just drag it into the AT Launcher folder. Once you're in that folder, if you you guys can't see anything because it's on the wrong screen, <laughs> uh, just click the AT Launcher, and then now it will launch through that folder. And that folder is like the prime location where all the files are going to be, all the caches and stuff, all the PNGs, everything is going to download in that one folder. So make sure you do that, or you won't be able to download the map, the uh, launcher. So it's going to take a while, it's going to be downloading all the libraries and pictures and launcher files and everything, and then it's going to come up to this, setting up AT Launcher. Select your language, uh, I speak English, so uh, I'm going to click English, <laughs> uh, and then enable leaderboards, which just, I don't, I don't know what that is, but uh, I think it just has leaderboards maybe on the AT Launcher, but I'm just going to click, keep it checked, click save, and then it's going to set up tabs, it's actually going to launch the AT Launcher now, so basically you are basically done installing it but now to access it what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down here to select an account and uh, you may not have an account here so what you're going to want to do is you want to go to the accounts tab and you're going to want to add your account now i'm going to blur this out for you guys because this is my personal info um and uh, once you get this done you should have full access to the AT launcher once it logs in as, it, as you can see it says added successfully switch now I want to switch that immediately so uh, it will do that and there I am there's my skin and uh, what you're going to want to do is now it's kind of saved there now you have that account so now once you're done with that you can go to uh, news so there, these are all the tabs I'm going to go through the news just tells you news that they've updated things packs or this is where you can download instances and stuff so I'm gonna download Crundycraft uh, just for the thing and you're gonna click new instance 
and then you're gonna name it whatever you want I'm just gonna keep the same uh, it is a 1.7 pack so you can install other well there aren't other versions for this one at least but some of them do have other versions and simply click install so now it's gonna download all the files for that it may take some while depending on your computer um, mine it's pretty good it's pretty fast I have a pretty fast processor uh, once that is it'll go into your instances tab over here on the right side of the launcher and then you can go into there and click play and then it'll launch the, uh, the game so yeah um, I like this AT launcher because it does have a few popular mods like Crundy Craft, which is of course from Crundy, um, and Craner. Um, so that's pretty uh, a popular one. And there's other ones that are really nice in here. Uh, there's a few Yogcast ones, I believe. And just really, there's a uh, good quality uh, mod packs in the AT launcher. I don't. I'll use it. I use it usually like once in. I don't know. I use it. I do use it. Um, and if you want to, like, s change your settings or how much, like, I don't know, it's, it's basically just, like, the technical launcher, so you have to go to settings and change all the, uh, RAM, RAM settings or whatever, so you don't have a mod, so a mod can actually run. So, once that downloads, it looks like it's nearly downloaded, it's halfway, um, just download a few more files. Um, these files can be kind of big, so make sure you have, you put them in your, like, D drive, um, I automatically, it automatically download into my D drive, so that's why I make sure um, it does that, because I my D drive is an SSD, so it's a bigger drive, um, it's a bigger uh, sand, it's a, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so uh, when that download, it's nearly done, very close, we're at 230 of 274 megabytes, so as you can see, it's, 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 they're small, I like that. Um, but they are pretty big can deciding on which one you do if you do a crazy craft yeah no yeah you're you're in for a treat so there it goes download configs that should take seconds um, it's extracting it'll extract it and then there you go it's been installed and then you can go to your instances tab and there you go crundy craft is right there and all you do is click this little play button and you can play the mod play the uh, pack so yeah I hope that guys hope you guys liked this video hopefully it helped uh, hit that like button if you were able to download and play the pack. That would be a very appreciated. And also hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, if you really think it was a good video. Um, and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated to show, your, show the support for my channel. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, I will see you in another video on my channel.